So force plates are really a cool thing because really what they show is how much pressure I put through the ground with each foot as I do something like squat or as I jump. And the thing that most clinics do is maybe they take a video or your therapist will look at you straight on and they'll say, oh yeah, you look symmetrical. What we found by taking video and data with the force plates both at the same time is that even if someone looks very symmetrical, they can still put a lot of weight on one foot versus the other. Like I can shift I can sit here symmetrical and shift all my weight to one side or all my weight to the other side. And there's a very small change that happens there, very hard to pick up on camera and especially with the naked eye. And so what this does is it just tells us very simply how much weight are you putting on each side and how much force are you putting. So if someone is gonna go jump on these force plates, I can see, are you putting uh, most of your pressure on your right foot to take off? Are you landing on one foot more than the other? And then that helps us to dive in deeper and figure out why is that happening? And then how do we, you know, more importantly, how do we rehab that and make sure that that's not happening so that you're nice and symmetrical and that you're putting out the right amount of force for whatever your sport specific movement is. And so it's really just a way to show us, are you doing what we think you're doing? And there's been plenty of times where I put somebody on the force plates and they've squatted and I go, oh, you look pretty symmetrical. And then I look at the data and it's 70% on one foot and 30% on the other. And I would have never picked that up if I didn't have something like the force plates to help me measure that.